How you doing folks? This has been with Budget UTV and Home Setting. I want to do a one month review of the Neotech. It is a Steel 660 clone. I've used it for about a month now and just want to tell you guys what I think. It's a good saw. I'm really impressed. I would say it's perfect for someone who cuts firewood. I'd venture to say you could probably use this thing as a commercial saw if you really wanted to. I've had a couple little hiccups with it, nothing major. I replaced this this fuel cap because it started leaking here. And I replaced the fuel line just for good measure. I wasn't sure if it was leaking or not. It, I'll tell you what, the trigger, the trigger pull, I mean, it feels great. It, it really feels great. Um, I haven't had any any problems with the compression release. I've had no problems either with the uh, recoil or the recoil pulley down here or the little feet that come out that catch on the crank. I'm not sure what them are called. It oils when you're cutting like it's supposed to. I mean, honestly, this thing has more power than my 500i and i'm pretty pleased with it i'm actually really pleased with it let's see things i don't like about it uh, there's not really too much i don't like about it really i like the collar scheme the wrap here is it's still um it doesn't it doesn't seem super sturdy but i mean it's it's a handle to hold the saw you know you're not supposed to be prying on them a lot uh i haven't it hasn't gotten bent or anything like that since i've used it and it it seems it seems pretty sturdy i don't know that's about my maybe my only complaint with it i'll tell you what though i'm going to take the spark plug out take my camera put it down in the cylinder bore and we'll see how it looks after a month of use I think I've had five, five to seven tanks through it. I can't remember. I kind of lost count. I guess some of the little things I could nitpick is when I first got it, uh, this right here fell off and I had to super glue it on. I said that in a previous video and this little metal piece here that's inside of the, the side case here is, is a little loose and it'll move back and forth. But I mean, realistically you know this saw if you were to buy it from steel was going to be 13 to 1500 dollars you know i bought this saw for uh 380 dollars and that was to my doorstep and it's a fraction of the price i mean the little nuances i had like the cap and possibly the uh the fuel line was leaking and you know that little piece of metal there and stuff that's that's so minor especially for the cost it's it's a heavy saw don't buy this saw and expect it to be light you got to realize it's a 92 cc saw this is a heavy saw everything's metal everything's magnesium it's heavy everything's magnesium uh, the front here the sides um this the tank's not magnesium but i don't think it was on the steel either e even the side here is magnesium and these spikes here oh my goodness they're sturdy i was thinking about changing them but i mean they're really stout i've been really impressed i'm keeping them uh, i'm going to keep the saw as it is i'm not going to port it i don't feel that it really needs it uh it runs plenty of rpms I got a 24 inch bar on it and chain it's got a it's got a steel chain and it's got a silver streak bar like i said i'm really happy with it um i like this full wrap too it has you know it keeps the side from getting all scratched up when you're putting fuel in it and things like that but anyways that's my thought oh i did i did have to tune it out of the box it wasn't tuned so i had to tune the saw I turned the high and the low in all the way and turned them out about two turns and went from there. Uh, I don't know if you buy one, if you'll have to do that. 
Um, if you don't know how to tune a saw, I'm sure you could find a shop that'd be more than happy to do it for like maybe 10, 20 bucks, who knows. I used to work on chainsaws for a living and um, this one seems reasonably stout. So, so far I'm impressed. We're gonna take the spark plug out and uh, we're going to look down at the cylinder and we'll see if there's any scores or anything in there. I'm willing to bet there's not. Uh, it still runs great, so uh, that's my thoughts on it so far, so let's check that cylinder out and see what it looks like. Okay, folks, let's check that cylinder out. I got my little, my little Neotech uh, tool pouch here. It came with the saw, so that's pretty cool. All right. Here we go. Yeah, we'll see how that spark plug looks too. Not too bad. Know if you can see that or not looks pretty good okay this is going down oh there we go so let's see here well it looks pretty good to me I still see the cross hatches Get a closer look and turn the camera sideways for you guys. There you go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Like all that, that's break in, that's all normal. I'd expect to see that on a high dollar saw. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. Pretty pleased with that. All right, rock on. Let's take the carburetor off and uh, see what the piston looks like. Piston looks great. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It seems like it's a, a decent saw. There's no discoloring from heat. Uh, so I call that a win, guys. These seem like these are okay saws. So I figured I'd take the exhaust off too and check out the uh, cylinder from here. Rings look good. Piston looks good. That's a win, guys. That's a win. Good deal. Good deal. Thanks for watching.